Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer, another mailbag episode. This time comes from a channel regular, M. Loscott. He says, hi again, lately I've been thinking about how to share configuration between Terraform and Packer. For example, I create an Azure Compute Gallery using Terraform code, which I parameterize with a resource group, a gallery name, name of images, image definitions, and then I use Packer to build and publish particular VM image version. Obviously, Packer needs to know the names of the resource group, the gallery image, parameters of the shared image gallery destination. I wonder, do you have any solution to share those or read those from Terraform outputs dynamically? So I'm going to drop into Whiteboard a little bit today and kind of talk through this problem. The issue is we have a set of things that need to be provisioned for each image that we're building, but then we also have some shared infrastructure, which is that Azure Compute Gallery. Now the Azure Compute Gallery, we can provision, of course, with Terraform, and I've done that on this channel, and we, we can manage the Azure Compute Gallery using pipelines to provision those environments for whatever galleries that we want, dev, prod, or particular products or applications that we want to maintain separate image galleries for, we can do that. But with Packer, we know that we need to have an image definition built in order for Packer to produce versions within that image definition. So that's where the contract kind of comes into play between Packer and Terraform. Terraform can provision the image definitions, no problem, but Packer needs to know which image definition to put in. So if we look at it here, we have image definition A. And image definition A represents a type of virtual machine that we want to provision over and over again, and we have a single Packer template that represents the configuration of that virtual machine. So this definition gets tied to, essentially, a Packer code base. Now, as you've seen on this channel, we can have build pipelines that will run Packer. And if you point Packer in the right direction, like where's my uh, image, where's my compute gallery, where's my image definition, then Packer will then go and produce a new, a new version and it will do this over and over again. And we've, we've set up pipelines on here that will dynamically increment the version so that every time you run that pipeline, Packer produces a new image version and puts it into the image definition. But the inputs that Packer needs in order to execute this, um, it needs the resource group for the gallery, it needs the gallery, and it needs the image definition name. And so M. Loscott is essentially asking me, how can we tie these two together such that we have you know, a step in our pipeline that runs Terraform, which produces, I would imagine, the compute, compute gallery and the image definition within it, runs Packer and using the outputs of Terraform, because Terraform knows about these things, um, using the outputs of Terraform basically just passes these things into Packer to tell it where to go. So you could do this. You could, you could get this done. This, this would work. However, the, the problem that you there in law, however, the problem that you're going to face is it's kind of a lot of work. You have to add this additional step into your YAML pipeline. You have to pipe TF outputs to out of, out of the Terraform code and into Packer. You have to use Bash within your pipeline in order to pass those those outputs from Terraform into Packer. So there's some there's some plumbing, there's some glue that's required, but it's the problem is it's not scalable, because the the image definition is tied to an individual Packer template. If you want to stand up another Packer template. You're going to you're going to ultimately have to create a new image definition in Terraform, rerun it and then pass that into Packer. You're going to have to put that image definition in anyway as a magic string that indicates to Packer what image it's going to use. And so the question becomes, is it worth it to have this elegant flow between Terraform and Packer where Terraform passes these outputs and Packer reads them as inputs? And I would say it doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's really not worth the extra time because of the inherent dependency between the image definition and its logical name and the Packer template. The Packer template is going to need to know what that magic string is. So even if, even if you were to go, 
you know, submit it. Let's say, let's say I, I already have a compute gallery. I already have image definitions for my other images. Let's say I'm going to go create a new, a new Packer image. What would I have to do? Well, the first step that I would have to do is I'd have to open a PR um, on my Terraform code that adds a new image definition in my Terraform code. Then I would submit that and I would run apply, thus creating the new image definition that, that's out there. And once that's done, then I would go and I would create a new instance of my Packer pipeline and I would configure it to use the magic string of my image definition. Now this could be configured to receive the outputs from the Terraform for the gallery resource group and the gallery name. So we could we could do that, but we've got to hard code the image definition which is inherently dependent on these things anyway. So right off the bat, we're not gaining a lot from this tight coupling and this integration of the Terraform pipeline that provisions the Azure Compute Gallery and the Packer pipeline that builds the image because we're not eliminating that motion of having the hard code kind of pipeline contextualizers to tell the Packer build pipeline where to fetch the image from. We still have to tell it what the image name is and we have to, and then likewise, we have to tell it where the gallery is and where the gallery resource group is. But so that step is not eliminated of, of having to hard code that pointer. And so why, if, you, if you're going to have to hard code one pointer, right, which is the magic string of the image definition, you might as well hard code the three pointers for the, the image gallery that it resides in anyway. This also will make your Packer pipeline cleaner because you can, you, if you want to have multiple Azure compute galleries, and you may maintain multiple compute galleries across your organization for different purposes, different application life cycles, dev prod, different products or applications themselves might have their own isolated compute galleries where you store images um, that are only accessible to that application group or that product team. Um, and so in that, in that case, you might want to have the flexibility of, of, of basically saying, okay, this is the image defin definition and this is the, the compute gallery that I'm in. And across those different application life, life cycles, dev, test, prod, mm -hmm. you're probably going to share the same image definition name and the same version of the image as well, right? Because once you build it and you tested that image version in dev and you want to promote it to prod, you probably want to migrate that, that version rather than rebuild it because, you know, you want to have the exact same version of the image running in prod as you ran in dev. Rebuilding that, you know, using the code and rebuilding it in prod, it's not the same image um, unless you're extremely careful with, you know, the, the being specific within, you know, running, running apt update and things like that. The benefits of tying these two pipelines together is diminished to the point where I, w I just wouldn't do it, right? You, you can solve this problem simply by passing in two, two additional input parameters to your Packer build pipeline, which gives you the additional flexibility of pointing your Packer pipeline at any valid Azure Compute Gallery with the image definition that you so desire. It reduces the complexity of your Packer build pipeline. It also reduces the effort that it would take to tightly couple them together and give you that kind of elegant flow. In this case, I think this is a good example of where the technical elegance of, you know, that, that warm feeling that we get of having, having things like perfectly work dynamically is overshadowed by the practical reality that it really doesn't give us any benefit to do this. And so I would take the pragmatic route and just point your Packer build pipeline at the Azure Compute Gallery and the image definition that you've selected using three input variables and call it a day. Anyways, M. Loscott, thank you for the question. I hope this helped as I talk through this. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. Keep those coming. Really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, consider channel membership. It's a new and great way to show your support for the channel by becoming an official Azure Terraformer yourself joining my squad of code ninjas and, and getting exclusive access to my code reviews or joining my inner circle where we can work together to solve your problems in context. Anyways, that's it for me. This is the Azure Terraformer, signing off.